Hey folks, uh, I'm making this video regarding the classic monitor app that is kind of a, a difficult app to set up for TriStar, but I made a video and I hope it will help you guys. This is where I can see the different functions that I have on Magnum. And if I go to my TriStar Diagnostics and scroll down see false none alarms none battery voltage temperature ambient temperature battery temperature I'm sorry and amps hour going to the battery by the way, that is dead on because I adjusted it uh, with the TriStar program to be 32.46, which is what Tri Trojan recommends. shows the equalized charge, float charge, and bulk charge, and I circled them, and it's dead on. Of course, it's 0 .6, 0 0.06 volt higher due to the temperature compensation, but their program works dead on. Now it went down to point 44 due to battery temperature and ambient temperature compensation that's the battery voltage sense that is important because midnight doesn't have it the flexmax don't have it most of the chargers don't have it this does have it and it's important it reads the battery voltage through a separate sensor and shows the battery voltage shows the solar array voltage And total resetable amp hours temperature on the TriStar and hours it's been in use. Battery service reminder. And you can do all kinds of stuff. Let me go back to where I was. So there we are right there also I have their program let's go to my computer beautiful day in SoCal today all right, this program is by Morningstar and it shows the battery voltage 3234, target 3234, charge current 
I'm equalizing because we had a very heavy load yesterday and today and I checked the voltage readings and there was a little bit of discrepancy so I decided to do an equalize again shows the array voltage current sweep amp and all the rest of them the battery temperature sensor 26 centigrade heat sinks 49 and we're reading the amp hours that's total and kilowatt hours that's total again and we have no alarms and faults none and let me go to data log and it gives me a view of the past 90 days I believe if I grab the bar and go back I can study all kinds of different stuff up to date and see what's going on which is pretty cool and I compare the day by day maximum battery voltage minimum battery voltage array voltage output and you can tell maximum array voltage it's 82.25 because today was a cooler day and let's go back um, look at that 74 that was a warm day go back again today and today's maximum output hour, amp hours, watt hours, battery temperature, and minimum battery temperature, and shows how many minutes of every function. However, going to Samsung, with the classic monitor right there now classic monitor you have to go to the network and it shows that it's connected to TriStar and it equalizing you have to go to your network which is TriStar and add and disable the automatic classic search or whatever they call it and manually add your TriStar's IP address to activate this function it's a good program however it cannot control the classic that you want to command from your computer or your tablet to the classic or the TriStar the TriStar has to go through its own program and the classic has to go through its own program by entering the CL code so you can do adjustment to it this one is just a monitor as they say and it shows the PV volts current and so on and if you go the total energy shows 
how many kilowatt hours and the charging and the usage not the usage the amp hours line the temperature on the battery and the APT and other related stuff temperature 26 degrees well I have 25 and 48 that this program doesn't show maybe it's on the TriStar but it's a good monitoring program but it won't let you to do any modification or adjustment to your system and as I said if you go to the TriStar network and you go to add you have to enter the new IP address for the new device and manually enter it so this program can recognize it so this is what we have hope you guys like it